It's no secret by now that I'm a fan of minimalist holsters. There's not much to them, which means less can go wrong. To me, the positives outweigh the few negatives. Even if you're just lukewarm on the minimalist holster concept, it's good to have one of these in reserve for those times when your daily carry holster loses a screw with no notice or gets soaking wet and needs a little time to dry. Being able to switch to a backup holster such as a good minimalist can sometimes save you a lot of grief. In this episode, we will review the MIE Productions Ion Minimalist Holster, so stick around. Welcome back to RBB, where I buy each product with my own money and tell you what I really think. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on any upcoming content. Today, we will be reviewing the MIE Ion Minimalist Holster, and spoiler alert, this little thing has a lot going for it. When the Ion Minimalist Holster arrived in the mail, the packaging it came in was a plain bubble-wrapped plastic envelope. This makes me smile. To me, when you see a product that comes in packaging like you see in one of those unboxing videos, I don't know about you, but I always wonder how much of my money was actually spent on the packaging. On the other hand, when the packaging is slight, or in this case non-existent, I know the money paid went into the product I bought, which is just how I like it. The heart of any minimalist holster's hold on the gun is usually dependent on the relationship it has with the gun's trigger guard area. This has to be rock solid or it's not serving the purpose you bought it for and therefore can't be recommended. The MIE Ion Minimalist has a very good hold on the gun. The body of this holster is constructed of Kydex using a process called membraneless vacuum forming. The result is excellent contouring in areas where it matters. The provided belt clip is made of polymer and will accept up to a 1 and 3 quarter inch belt. The clip is also tuckable and adjustable for up and down height, but not for cant. An ambidextrous claw is also provided as well. MIE even provided an additional claw hook with a taller ledge to bring the butt of the gun closer in towards the body if the user prefers it. The front edge of the Ion Minimalist holster sticks out a little and has an open hole, which is perfect for a lanyard. However, no cordage was provided. This is a good place to remind the viewer that string, when anchored to the belt, can be an excellent redundant safeguard to ensure that the holster comes away from the gun during the draw. In addition, when reholstering the gun to a minimalist rig outside of the waistband, cordage prevents the holster from being dropped on the ground where it could be hard to recover quickly in low light conditions. But even without a lanyard, the Ion holster's front edge protrusion is useful should you draw and the holster comes out with the gun. This little edge allows you to simply pop the holster off and away from the gun quickly. If you look closely, you'll notice that there is an extra strip of Kydex embedded inside between the two outer sheets at the belt clip fasteners. This is not only to strengthen the fastener area, but also to stiffen the overall holster lengthwise. That's a nice touch. One downside for this holster is the price. I paid about $45 in 2023 money for the MIE Ion Minimalist Holster. That's pretty steep for a minimalist holster considering there's no fancy packaging. On the other hand, the MIE Ion is an American-made product which is well-made and worth a look. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching and catch you back here soon on Ranges, Backstops, and Burns.